All right, now the new uh, the new Shin's Gift DLC, primarily do hey, Commander. things in the Proving Ground with that. Okay, so I did enable it. Should show up here. Okay, investigate intel. Uh... Avenger plotting new course. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. All right, new research. This the will do turret museum. breakdown. I've started to wonder how the Advent Administration views our current band of renegades. Uh, we don't do have money. An actual threat, or more of a nuisance. Hey, Commander. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to show up. I thought a spark was supposed to show up for us right away. Oh, mechanized warfare. That's right. <clears throat> we gotta get that first. Good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. So let's move mechanized warfare up. Yep, we'll prioritize that. Yeah, Sean, uh, Sean Strand, I, I am doing Shin's last gift. That's the mechanized warfare. We gotta do that improving ground. It'll unlock our first spark. Um, and then we'll be able to build more. Okay, dark event complete. And alien infiltrator complete, okay. Oh, side training, insanity fuse or void rift. What do you guys think? I'm leaning towards void rift. Boom. Void Rift it is. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Alright, so really we're done with research, so let's go ahead and do some Shadow Commander, Chamber stuff. Now that we've built the Shadow Chamber, we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. Strategic resource located. Avenger plotting. Nope, some course. more alien alloys over here. Got a D left on that, so we'll snag that. Strategic resource located. That's not bad. Let's. Hmm. Avenger Let's go check out the black market course. real quick and see what they want to buy. Might be something we could pick up some extra cash with. Market is open. Okay, particularly interested in advent shield bearers and advanced auto loaders. Okay, sell. Let's just go ahead and dump these. We don't need them, I don't think, for anything. Confirm. Yeah, 
Okay, project's going up. The aliens continue their progress toward completing this Avatar project. We must stop them at any cost. Understood. Let's see. How much is a defense matrix? Or actually, we're capped out on contacts, so we probably should get some more resistance comms. Resistance communications facility construction initiated. Yeah. Let's start on that. And then. Defense matrix. Oh, it's cheap. Facility construction initiated. I don't know why Bradford's not talking. Maybe they toned him down when they put out the DLC with that little patch? Setting course for Mexico. We'll let the Avatar project run up like we've been doing and then we'll take out that facility that we have. Oh, cutscene. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences in near-infinite combinations, yet all bearing similar genetic markers. Human markers. Must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands. And the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from. By cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Like, seriously, who thought Avatar. the gene therapy clinics were Just a good idea, exactly right? That vial. Silly my people. Worst nightmares I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's. That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. The high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. New objective added. Okay, investigate Black Site Vile coordinates. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Hey, Wolfric, how's it going, buddy? Commander, we have a fix on the location of the Alien Forge facility, but we'll still need to establish contact with the local resistance forces before we can move in to investigate. Well, we can't yet because we don't have the contacts. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a spark. So let's go take a look. Now if you've got an existing campaign like this and you enable it, you'll have one automatically. So here he is. Yeah. Look at that. 
All right, so let's take we'll, we'll take a, a minute here to like look at his different like looks and whatnot. But that's probably the head I'm gonna keep because I, I think we gotta name the first Spark Johnny Five and keep that head. <laughs> but let's take a look here. Hold on, let's go head. So let's see. There's the Johnny Five head, and then there's Delta Two, Three, Four, Five. That one's kind of cool. What is that? Delta Five? Yeah, it's kind of Terminator-ish. Plated one, plate two, powered one. Oh, that's cool looking. That's like a fancy Johnny Five right there. Name him after Cat from Long War? I guess we could do that. Just seems like Johnny Five's more uh, appropriate for this guy. Like this, and secondary color. Is he cool looking? Pretty cool looking, I think. So there's two ways to build these guys. You can build them, um. I guess they're analogous to. I guess Guardians from. XCOM Long War, for those of you that are familiar with it, there's sort of a... sort of a close combat um, slash tough build, and then there's a... kind of a shooty mech build. There's two trees. And let's see, for voice... Maximum range. Servos at maximum. Just how fast do you think this unit is? Yeah, I like uh, I like that one. <laughs> it's pretty badass. Okay, now let's go back to engineering because that's where your upgrades are. By the way, this is also where um, they get repaired. So we should have realized sooner. We knew the aliens couldn't be Oh, shush, Shin, shush. There we go. So when you get when you get damaged, which obviously is going to happen, because um, they can't take cover, just like mechs from previous titles. They'll be in here, there's another little box that'll show up, it'll say, you know, how many days they need for repair time or what have you. But that's where they are. <laughs> Countdown. Beep, bloop, bloop. Okay, so let's see, let's choose project. So, look at this though. Two Illyrium cores to build one. They're, they are not, they are not cheap. They are not cheap, people. And then, in engineering itself, we've got a couple different things we can build to improve them. We can get the anodized chassis. Which I think is... This is the first upgrade you can get. These don't stack, right? Anybody know? Has anybody tested this? Like, is this the top-end upgrade for their armor? Or do you buy them both? No one knows. No one knows. <laughs> it's too new. <laughs> Fair enough. Or here in engineering, this is where it shows. Yeah. Okay. What if it gets repaired? All right. Well, let's let's go. Let's get let's get into a mission with this. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching oh, supply drop. Now. Your progress against the aliens over the past month has Midnight been raids. significant, Ooh. Commander. Oh, that's still room to improve. If oh man, that's going to eliminate the alien threat. That kind of sucks. Major breakthrough viper rounds and midnight raids. Oh, well, thanks game. Thanks. And I didn't Avengers get you anything. New course. They do not stack, Nico? Okay. Oh, Christopher's here. What's up, Christopher? Okay. Shade's done with that, so let's see. Soul Steel or Insanity? Or Fuse, which one?
I know you're here, Alex. You're hard to miss. <laughs> Insanity. Okay. Insanity, okay. All right. Let's get the rest of this cash. piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling pain. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new secret now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. I think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. Forget the data. It's accessing the power core. Overriding my safety. Increasing power levels to tie and sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead of it. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> it looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Okay. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Hello, Commander. We've locked in the coordinates Shen and Tigan pulled from the Codex, Commander. But we'll have to make contact with the local resistance cell before we can move to investigate the site. New objective added. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Copy that, Central. Copy that. Recruit new staff. Okay. Well, we don't really need any scientists or engineers at this point, so I guess we'll just skip that. And let's go get those upgrades. Commander, the lab is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting any research. It's like, and I'm Please all about research and stuff. There's nothing the in there. Shush. As soon as possible. Hey, Shush. Commander. Okay, let's see. Build items. So this doesn't stack, so we'll grab... Anodized chassis. Okay, let's see. Battle scanner, blue screen rounds. Nope, nope. I could have swore I bought another one of these. Well, there we go. Now I have weapons. This is the big dog weapon for them, I guess. Oh, so do we get the. Hmm. Here's a tough choice, though. Plasma lens or Illyrium phase cannons for the sparks? What do you think? What do you think? That's a tough choice. We can't we can't get both right now. We can only get one. <laughs> I'm thinking the sparks weapon too, but
Of course Alex is gonna say Plasma Lance as the only soldier on the team that carries it. Yeah, we gotta go with the phase cannon, right? Yeah. Sold. Sorry, Alex, you got outvoted. Alright, now. This... The Avatar Project should run up here, and then we'll do probably this site here? Yep. Oh, skull mining's done. Nice. Let's see, we got experimental powered weapon in eight days. Let's X that out, actually. And let's do experimental powered weapon. Which is a spark. Oh, we don't have two Illyrium cores. Yeah, let's do experimental powered weapon. Yup. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Was that the same thing? Were we already doing that or were we doing heavy weapon? I don't know. What if we make dead soldiers into sparks? I guess we could do that. Let's see, who have we lost? Uh, Memorial. Okay, so we lost Eve. We lost Empress. We lost Talem. We lost Nico. Yeah. And we lost uh, Winters. Those are the soldiers that we lost. Yeah, and these double up things are just errors. They only died once. So yeah, I guess we could. Yep, I am. Okay, so let's see. We've got Soul Steel, Schism, or Fuse. Schism's pretty good. Schism! Alright. Defense facility now operational. Okay, defense matrix is done. Defense facility upgraded. We're gonna upgrade it, and we're gonna staff it. Oh, supply raid! Okay, cool. What do we got? Andromedon, Muton, Elite Officer, Elite Trooper, Shield Bearer, Gatekeeper. Okay. Oh, nothing too bad. I mean, the Gatekeeper I don't really like, but we'll be fine. Setting course for East Africa. All right, we're gonna clear squad, and we're gonna make everything available. All right, I'm gonna grab my grenadiers first. Okay, we're gonna grab Wolfric. And cat.
All right, there we go. They're set. Now let's grab Warlord. There we go, that looks like a setup that'll work for us. There we go, and then... Let's grab Christopher. Carry the dragon rounds. Custom name here, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with Empress, actually. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, we'll stick with the rocket launcher. Okay, let's see. So we've got our rangers. Let's grab Tony. Grab the Icarus armor. Shadow Keeper. Blue screen rounds. I guess plasma grenades fine. Okay, now I need Coop. Where are you? There you are. You need to give the bolt caster to someone. Okay, so let's give that to... Monster can carry that. 